Anyway, it is 9.03, J.C., Jim Cox, live and local, and we have John Truxell in the studio. Good morning, John. Good morning. Boy, it's nice to have you here. Well, it's great to be here. And now you are uh, from Friends of the White River Light Station. What exactly is that? That's a group of people that got together back in 2003 right. to uh, buy artifacts for the lighthouse and to make sure that the local school children had an opportunity to learn more about our maritime history. Oh, that's a great thing to do because it's been going on for a few years, hasn't it? Yes, 2003. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, uh, the uh, Mariner situation forever. Oh, yes, know? yes. All that, these boats. That is, that is our history, yes. Yes, yes. So now the, uh, the light station uh, in Whitehall, it's where it is technically, isn't it? Correct. Uh, on the shores of uh, beautiful Lake Michigan and, of course, on White Lake. Been there for how long? 1875 it was yeah. built. Captain William Robinson, the White River Light Station, now serves as a physical reminder of the rich nautical history of Michigan. And it's now a museum. When did that start? I think that started about 1970. Yeah. Okay. And it's open to the public, of course. It is open to the public. It has been and will continue to be if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> now, who keeps the bu the building uh, physically up? I mean, who, you, who repairs it? No. White River Township owns the building and okay. is responsible for the maintenance of the grounds and of the building. Yeah, well, it's in beautiful shape. Yes, it is. It's recently oh. been painted. Yeah. It looks very nice. Yeah. Does the light still work? No, but they have a light in the tower. Yeah. Yeah. Just with a flip of a switch now. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. The Boy. original light is still in the building. Uh-huh. It's on the second floor. Now, that it wasn't electric, was it? Well, in the later days it was. Yeah. Early on it was whale oil first. Then they went to kerosene. Oh, wow. Then finally they electrified it in the early 1900s. Is that right? Yes. It's just... This, you know, this whole area, Whitehall, Montague, North Muskegon, it's all very rich in history. And this definitely is just a huge part of it. I agree. So now you have something coming up in, uh, what, August? Yes, August 5th. Okay. We're going to have a, um, our annual meeting on Wednesday, August 5th from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh -huh. And it's on the grounds of the light station. Oh. It's a free event for members and non-members alike. Uh, there will be hearty hors d'oeuvres served and beverages, Ooh. free admission to the lighthouse and a live auction at the lighthouse. Oh, so this kind of like a fundraiser? No, not really. It's okay. a, it's a, um, the live auction portion of it is a fundraiser, yes, okay. but the I other see. is just annual meeting and appreciation to our members and guests. Yeah, and it's open to the public. It is indeed. Oh man, right at the, right at the light station. Right, right. at the light station on the grounds. Oh man. You and can, you can learn a little bit about our lighthouse history with stories from descendants of our first light keeper, Captain Robinson, yeah. and hear what the future holds for our friends group. So yeah. we'd appreciate anybody that can come out. We would uh, request that you RSVP by July 31st if you plan to attend. And you can do that at, uh, by calling 231-894-4926. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, this Captain William Robinson, obviously, was he on, did he ever have uh, a vessel of his own? Did he captain a vessel? Yes, he actually was a captain in England. Really? Yes, and then early on in the uh, 1870s, he came to the United States and he wanted to be a shipwright, uh -huh. or a channeler, I'm sorry, uh -huh. and uh, ended up, uh, being a mariner himself, ended up putting lights on the, uh, on the beach to warn passing ships. Wow. And that's how he got to be the lighthouse. That's uh, how he came, he came into the White Lake area. He right? came into the White Lake area, and he got to be the uh, hmm. the lighthouse keeper, the first. And he was lighthouse keeper, I think, for about 46 years. Is that, did he pass away right there or something? Yes, he did. I think his spirit is in that uh, building. Or some like to think so. <laughs> There's been some stories about it being haunted. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Well, they all have stories like that. Yes. You know? Do we have any shipwrecks right around the pier head there in the White Lake area? There's been several, yes. Really? Yes. In fact, one of them uh, is the stem of the ship that sank is displayed in the front lawn. Oh, yeah. I've been the there for a long time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The keel part, right? No, it's the stem. The front. Oh, the stem. I see. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Well, as I say, this is very rich in history, this area. And uh, tell me more about the Friends of the White River Light Station. What is your capacity there? I'm the chairman of the group right okay. now. We have a board of directors that, uh, that we get together on a monthly basis normally, uh -huh. uh, except in the wintertime. 
mm -hmm. and make plans as to how we can uh, buy additional artifacts. Ah. In the past years, we've spent uh, about $9,000 uh, buying additional artifacts for the lighthouse. Where do you find these artifacts? Well, mostly online. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yep, there's a great history, and uh, there's several people, Clafton over on the East Coast, that, um, that specializes in this sort of thing, and they've become very expensive, so we have to watch our finances oh, very I closely. Uh, now, where do the funds come from, from fundraising and, and things like that? The funds? Yeah. Yes, membership mostly, uh, and donations. Okay. So is a membership still open for yeah. this? Yes, it is, very much so. That would be a great thing for someone listening right now to do, to become a member of the friends of uh, the White River Light Station. That would be nice, wouldn't it? There are several um, membership levels that you can join. As a student, it's $15 a year. As a second assistant keeper, it's 30 First assistant keeper is 50 Okay. Head keeper, 100 District inspector, 500 And a lifetime member is 1000 And we have about 16 lifetime members. Is that right? Yes. Well, that's wonderful. Yep. Now, let's make it uh, clear that you are not the keeper of, no. the, of, the, uh, of the lighthouse itself. Who is that? Well, the, the, the curator is what they're called. Yes, right? the curator is a young man named Matt Varnum, who's a Central Michigan University uh, graduate, uh -huh. majoring in uh, history and museum work. Yeah. So uh, he stays right there? He lives right there? He lives there where Karen McDonald used to live uh -huh. and our previous curator. She's yeah. been there a long time. About 27 years. Yeah. yeah. So where is she now? She's in California. Is she? Okay. Yeah. Probably drying up like everything else in California. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid you know? so. And I bet she remembers, oh, boy, I was on the channel of beautiful White Lake and all that nice water. Yes, and now indeed. I'm stuck in California. They have a severe drought. Nothing funny about that. No. They're trying to buy water from us, as I understand it. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, well, How you know. How would they get it from here to there? Pipeline. Oh, really? Oh, boy. <laughs> what's that going to lead to? Yeah. We don't want to talk about that. No. So anyway, this what's his name, the curator now? Matt Varnum. Okay, he's been and there for approximately... This is his first year. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Okay. So he works for an organization called Splica, which is Sabo Points Lighthouse Keepers Association. Oh, yeah. Is he married? This man married? No, he's a oh, young yeah. single fellow. Yeah, lots of energy. To lots of energy. Does he, does he actually conduct the tours? Well, it, mostly they're self-guided tours. Oh, if there's really? a special request, he'll do it. But other than that, we use docents, such as myself. Docents? Docent. We're decent docents. <laughs> <laughs> now, the folks can visit the museum and climb the spiral staircase. That's can they still do that? Yes, sir. To the top of the lighthouse tower, browse the many 19th and early 20th century photographs. Oh, man. And examine the collection of nautical artifacts. What a, what a jewel to have. It is indeed. In this area. That's why we're so anxious to keep it going. Yeah, the building is in sound shape, isn't it? It is. It is. There's a few uh, few items every once in a while that come up, but they're handle, handled uh, yeah. expeditiously by the township. Well, you think all the winters, all the storms that that building has gone through, it's, it's amazing that it's still there. It is. It was well built by, uh, with Michigan limestone. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Geez, we're yeah. getting we're getting a history lesson here today, folks. And you want to mention anything else? Well, uh, yes, membership. Uh, I think we just covered a little right. bit, but there right. are membership applications available. Uh, I don't know if you want to take. Oh, a I see. Okay. Now they can call eight nine four eighty two sixty five for more information. That's correct. Or that go to WhiteRiverLightStation.org. Correct. Okay. Tell you what, we're going to take a little break. Can you stick around? We'll kind of collect our thoughts and kind of come back and finish up this, uh, this interview, okay? All right, thanks for being here. We've been talking with uh, John Truxell from the Friends of the White River Light Station. Very interesting, very interesting. Oh, everybody loves a clown. See, that's what they do. It is 9.15. Back with our guest, we have uh, John Truxell from the Friends of the White River Light Station. Good morning to you once again. Good morning to you. Now, there's a workshop that's adjacent to the, uh, to the lighthouse, correct? That's correct. And what kind of shape is that in? Well, it's in pretty poor shape. It's been used for a number of things over the years. But, uh -huh. uh, primary... but originally, it was for what? Well, it was a storage and workhouse. Okay. A workshop, I'm sorry. Right. 
So it's a, actually a very historic building itself. It is indeed. And should be saved. Yes, sir. That's what we plan to do. There's a plan of, uh, foot by the Friends of the White River Light Station to uh, spend considerable money on that building and bring it back to its original glory. Well, that'd be wonderful. Well, and it has, will have a multi-use as well. We'll use that for display and storage of the artifacts that aren't on display in the White House, right. in the Lighthouse. Right. And in addition to that, we would uh, like to have a multimedia room where we could bring school children in and oh. uh, show them videos and so forth of the history of the light stage. Oh, that would be wonderful. Very. <coughs> and, you know, this wouldn't happen all at once, right? This would take a few years. This is a phased-in project. Right. Yes, phase one, we would like to get going as soon as possible. All we need is the approval of the township. Oh, really? Well, they should, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that should be a no-brainer. I couldn't agree more. You know, it's a historic building. you got to keep these things around for the, for the children to listen and to, to learn, you know. Absolutely. About, about these things. So, now, you're married. Yes. And uh, I believe your wife's name is Nancy, correct? That's, that's now, correct. Is she a part of the Friends? Of yes, Home? she is. She's a trustee and a past president. Uh-huh. Yep. She was going to be here today, but I think she had something uh, that that came up, and she she said, "Well, you were part of the honey do list, honey. <laughs> go over to the radio station and talk on the radio, right? That's how that happened." You got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly is a pleasure to have you here, and I think we've covered just about everything. Uh, we have Oscar Osbo in the studio. He has been videoing this um, interview. It will be on our uh, Real Gold Radio webpage, right, Oscar? Right. Anything you want to mention? Well, I just, I just wanted to mention, well, it's kind of hard to, to point yeah. the camera at oh, and I talk see. to, but yeah. well. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to mention, too, that I did something with Karen, was it McDaniels or McDaniels? McDonald. McDonald, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, McDaniels. McDonald. McDonald. Okay. Yeah. Like anyway. Know, burgers. And, and you, you figure out when I spent like uh, eight hours with her at the light station to uh, videotape her. I'll also put that up on the website also, so you can see that. It's, uh -huh. uh, it's, I spent that time with Karen. It was uh, it's about two hours worth of uh, information at the light station. Wow. So. Okay. Yeah, she loved to talk, and she knew what she was talking about, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we've covered everything, uh, John, haven't we? Yes, I'm happy. Yeah. Well, that's why we, that's what we like to do here at Real Gold Radio. Make everybody happy. Some days yes, some days no. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. We have had uh, John Truxell from Friends of the White River Light Station on the air for a very interesting interview. And now, oh, one more thing. Now, the... Um, the light station is open, what, six days a week, five days, or, or what What was that? I think it's closed on Mondays, isn't That's it? That's correct. It's open every day except Monday. Oh, okay. I believe the hours are 10 to 5. Yeah, something like that. And how much is it to go uh, for a tour? If you want to climb the tower, I believe it's $5. Uh-huh. Otherwise, I believe it's 3 Yeah. I'm not sure. You should call Matt Barnum. Okay. And uh, we gave him his, that number, didn't right, we? Right, right. We did. Um... 894-8265? That's correct. Okay. All right. Now, most of that money goes toward the uh, the building itself, the upkeep and things like that, right? From, from the friends, no. No, okay. the Fruitland uh, Township owns and maintains the building. Okay. The friends group's money goes towards renovations okay. like yeah. this yeah. historic building. I see. And buying additional artifacts for display. Okay. Maritime artifacts. All right. Oh, yeah. Boy, I that's got to be a very interesting thing to be a part of. But thanks for being here today. My pleasure. Okay.